Hello, my name is Dominic Heal, and I have the privilege of being an honorary vice president of the Eastwood Collieries Male Voice Choir. It's amazing to think, isn't it, that the choir is now over a hundred years old, a century and more of making wonderful music and making history because the choir over that time has raised thousands upon thousands of pounds for charity. They are rightly proud of their history, but they're looking to the future too. They need to recruit new members and that could mean you. Were you to become a choir member, you'd certainly be part of that process of making fantastic music. But you would also make new friends, be part of a, a shared endeavour, enjoy a common history. You know, one small voice on its own may not amount to much, but in a massed choir, it really makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Plus, even better, there's no auditions. Just turn up for a rehearsal night. They'll make you feel very welcome, I'm sure. Who knows, becoming a member of the choir could change your life for the better. I hope so. Thank you for listening. Asked him if he'd, he could come to a meeting. And he said, no, I'm, it's choir practice. I didn't know you are in a church choir. He said, I'm not. I'm in an Eastwood Collier's male voice choir. Come and listen to us. So I did, and I, from then on I was hooked. You can imagine back in 1919 and 1920, when the choir was first formed, there were pretty turbulent years and the mining industry itself was going through some pretty turbulent times too. But the choir very quickly became one of those constants that allowed people to meet together on a regular basis and enjoy something other than work. Some would say we are living in turbulent times at the moment, but that one constant is there for a lot of the guys in the choir. They come along on Tuesday night. You know, you often hear people say, I nearly didn't bother coming tonight. But within 10 minutes of starting to sing and being together, they realised why they came. It was as, just as if the whole choir had put their arms around you. Um, they, they, may, they, all, they always make you feel at home. Because I just enjoy the singing. I, I enjoy meeting the people on a weekly basis. And it's amazing that the sort of characters you come across in the choir totally different to yourselves. I've always found it a really welcoming environment. People are appreciative of um, everybody's contribution and, and just keen to involve and encourage people and, and it's just a great environment in which people stand together. I could say 90% of it is camaraderie and the thing is with this choir you feel so much part of it that nothing interferes with Tuesday night. No. Of course it's not just about the past, we very much want it to be a choir for the future because it's not a hundred years and that's it. We want to go on and it, whatever people want to come and hear us and, and listen to us, it gives the, the choir a real sense of purpose. I wouldn't change it for anything. And I says, you'll never, and, you, and this is true, you know, if you ever sit in with this choir in general, you won't go away. If you can sing and you want to sing, you will not leave this choir. You wouldn't believe how it all seems to work out and how we all come together, which that's what the music does. It's amazing. Amazing.